We can see folks on board clapping as our first crew member. And that is NASA astronaut Nick Haig, commander of Crew 9. Now out of Crew Dragon Freedom. Some smiles, thumbs up, and a wave. Can't get any better than that. Yeah, that is one happy camper, that's for sure. Next up out of the capsule, we expect Roscosmos cosmonaut Alexander Gorbanov. His first space flight. Spent 171 days in space alongside NASA astronaut Nick Haig. Looks like we're getting some cheers and clapping on board as Alexander is slid down the little ramp and placed into the mobility aid. Astronaut, <laughs> he said that that capsule uh, was very, very friendly to him. Uh, by the way, uh, I'm not only a writer, but also a publisher, and we're going to be publishing Chris's uh, memoir to be called The Accidental Astronaut coming out this fall. So it's, it's a very exciting time. This is the golden age of space flight. We're going back to the moon. Let's listen in. Big smile, big waves. She, like her other crew members, now uh, will be assisted onto the mobility aid. There we have it, some waves, some thumbs up, and some smiles. Definitely seems to be a theme among all recovery operations. Absolutely. And of course, that leaves NASA astronaut Butch Wilmore inside Dragon in seat four. We're getting some views of him now as he egresses or exits the spacecraft. Once again, some elation and cheers there from Butch Wilmore. As we mentioned before, returning to Earth from coming from a microgravity environment can wreak havoc on the body. So it is customary uh, and just standard procedure for all of our long-term space residents to uh, get assistance once they are back on board the recovery vessel.